Yesterday we talked on the show about some of the amazing talent that you'll find right here in the Keys. My first guest this morning, local artist Keith Bland, he is a prime example of it. To give you a little background on Keith, he actually started his started his professional career in New York City in corporate America. Now around the age of 31, he decided to leave his Wall Street firm so he could pursue painting full time. Painting has always been his life's passion. Now fortunately for us, he found the keys, fell in love with the keys, and of course we fell right back in love with them. Keith, it's such a pleasure having you here this morning. Thank you, Jenna. It's nice to be here. Well, I've been able to look through some of your work, Keith, and I love all of it. <laughs> Thank you. It's very so, diverse, the work. Yes, it yeah. is. Now, Keith, are you happy with the decision that you decided to make 20 plus years ago? Absolutely. As, as far as coming to Key West mm -hmm. or as far as starting my career? Both. Both. I'm, ha <laughs> I'm, ha I'm happy with both. Um, one of the series of self-portraits that you'll see, Reflection, um, is sort of a visual actualization of those decisions of coming to yourself and fruition and finding your internal drive and um, yes I'm very happy um, I still work uh, in the in the corporate world in the business world I uh, am a commercial realtor for Doug Mayberry real estate but I keep it balanced with my art and my art is my passion wonderful I'm glad that's your passion because obviously it, it is a big <coughs> gift that you have Let's talk about the Reflection exhibit a little bit. Okay, uh, Reflection, actually I started my career, I did, a, I did a portrait of my brother, which I brought along with me, we can look at it at some point. Um, and I felt I had a knack and uh, several friends of mine, I was still working uh, on Wall Street and several friends of mine said, you know, you may want to try to pursue that a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I decided, I uh, took some ca classes at the uh, Art Students League there in New York and um, began doing some portrait work. And I became known in the South for doing children's portraits, sort of three by three foot square faces, large faces of children, sort of in the Andy Warhol model, except realistic colors. And um, from there, I progressed. So the self-portrait work was years down the road. Um, I decided to kind of delve in and, and do something not so commission-based, but more heart-based. And so... Um, I put on sort of Marcel Marceau makeup and, uh, and these portraits and the faces appear as if they're underwater. Mm -hmm. So as we kind of drown our way through, sometimes you do feel like you're drowning as you mm -hmm. mature and go your way and find your way. Mm -hmm. And so these are six feet by six feet faces mm -hmm. and they're a little bit edgy uh, mm -hmm. for some people, but um, uh, several gallery owners have seen it and I think it's going to make a beautiful exhibit someday. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, they're so interesting to look at, and that's so true. We do feel like we're drowning sometimes, but eventually we can push our way through. Right, and, and so the, the portraits, mm -hmm. they evolved. Uh, there's eight of them, mm -hmm. and it starts sort of more drowning, and then the makeup begins to come off, and the drowning is less, and, and the water effect is a little bit less. Mm -hmm. Keith, you also have some beautiful portraits that our viewers can see behind us. There was a little girl that I fell in love with. Yes. Is it difficult to do portraits? Well, um, these are photo-based portraits. I, I photograph the children, and yes, it is difficult, but <laughs> I don't have them set for me for that long. And, and the portraits are, are, are candid, as you can see by that, the, the one that you particularly mm -hmm. pulled up, that you like and pulled up. She's pulling her hair back, and she's just got this very childlike expression. So I'm able to capture that. So it's a, it's a moment in time sort of portrait. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know why I'm able to do it, but mm -hmm. I love it. And um, so I, I work in oil, strictly in oil. And um, this is sort of my bread and butter is these commission portraits. And she uh, is from Memphis, Tennessee, which is where I grew up part of my life. And uh, that Mid-South area um, is where I get many of my commissioned work pieces from. Okay. And now there's also some fruit, some key limes. Yeah, <laughs> well that, that started actually um, the apple, of course the symbolism in the garden and you know the fruit and all that, but also I found the actual apple sculptural form and color, so the color so brilliant and the sculptural form so interesting, how the core and the center is so visible. Mm -hmm. And so I began just doing these contemporary still lives and still in these three by three, three foot by three foot um, canvases, uh, so they were similar almost to the portraits, except uh, it's almost like a circle on a square, and it's just uh, contemporary because it's just one piece of fruit that you can focus on with light and shadow and a lot of depth and a lot of color. So I had a, a couple of nice exhibits with those. Okay. Now, what did you bring with you this morning? I know this is one of the first 
things you painted, Actually, uh, <laughs> this is the first portrait mm -hmm. I ever painted of my brother. He was married um, in California in 1990, and um, I um, took some photographs of him, and I came back and did this portrait of him that um, means so much to me and him. And mm -hmm. um, I can help you hold it up. Yeah. So you can see that um, they're enlarged faces. This one is actually two feet by three feet. And later I became known more as the, the three foot square sizes, but mm -hmm. mainly of the children. Um, but I, I have done several adults. In fact, I think you're showing on the screen um, one of my father that I did, that okay. I, of course. And what was that like doing a portrait of your father? Um, well, you really go <laughs> in and, um, He's sort of, there's a portrait by Thomas Eakins that I've always liked at the Metropolitan Museum in New York, and it's called The Thinker. And he's standing there, and he's looking down, and he's, he's very much um, inside. Mm -hmm. And um, my father was, was like that. That was his personality, so I really cherish that portrait. Wonderful. Now, what are you working on right now? I have a new series, uh, and this, again, is portraits, but it's much different. It's done mainly with palette knife, much freer, not quite as realistic. Um, and it's called Riffs on Immortality, and it's based on faces. I wanted to get back to the faces because um, I had from my Sacred Space series, which we haven't talked about, but um, I wanted to get back, and these are based on statues mm -hmm. from different cultures. It started when I went to an exhibit, again, at the Metropolitan of, um, called Heroic Africans, mm -hmm. and these, these sculptures over past centuries were just so alive, and, that, and they were actually sculpted to be burial pieces and to be immortals. Mm -hmm. And so um, I wanted to almost to have them commission me because I felt like they were alive, and so mm -hmm. I'm doing these portraits. Uh, it's, uh, it's Asians, uh, terracotta warriors from China, uh, quite a few pieces from cemeteries, um, so the Asian, which are more white-based, mm -hmm. and then the, the Africans, which are very expressive. And a poet, uh, Maureen Tracy Venti from the studios at Key West, is um, collaborating with me in writing poetry. And this exhibit will be shown at the studios um, this July. Mm -hmm. um, their July exhibit that will open the Walk on White night. Good. I, well, I can't wait to see it. Yes. And unfortunately, we're running out of time this morning. But if you want more information on Keith, just check out his website that you see on the bottom of the screen. You can give him a phone call if you want more information about his work. Keith, it was such a pleasure having you on this morning. Thank you. Thank you mm -hmm. for having me. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back.